All right, what's up, YouTube? First and foremost, want to say thank y'all for uh, I hit that thousand subscription mark, going for two thousand now. So please subscribe. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration. When you buy a new knife from the store, there's things about it that make it difficult to finish, especially like a pro, like you see me do on a regular basis. So I'm gonna teach y'all what I do to a brand new knife to help break it in. Ultimately, you break in a knife by using it, but this will give you a jump start and make it a lot easier. So. Let's start right here. So this is a new knife. When you get a new knife, it's got a sticker on it. So I bought two, and we already took the sticker off of this one. This is an Ames tool. So this is a generation of Ames. This is what I call my soldier. It's an old stainless steel, which you can't buy anymore. And Ames, if you're listening, we need to make these. As you can see, the, it's round, and if you put it next to a new knife, you can see how much shorter it is and then how round the sides are. So because they're rounded, I can only use this knife to full skim and it does a very good job of that without leaving lines. So when you buy these knives, they have a natural bow. So if you look at it, the side that you wanna use, so if it bows this way, then that's the side you're gonna to use to put your mud on because you want that natural bow uh, to hold the mud inside. So as you can see too, these corners are really, really sharp and that gives a problem it leaves lines on the wall when you're using it so this is hunter grit sandpaper all i do is fold it like so take that sandpaper in your hand and i'm gonna sand this thing down because it's real shiny and the sheen kind of messes up your mud this blue steel but i'm gonna sand this down As far as the sticker goes, as you can see, I got it on here. I just took my six, real sharp six, and I scraped that sticker off best I could to get started, and then we'll sand it. You wanna try and get all the shine off if you can. So this helps the mud uh, not, it'll stick to the knife, but not slide off the knife. So we'll give it a good buffing like that, both sides. So it's really, really smooth right now. So you want to get it basically kind of a little rough. And as you can see, I'm kind of getting that blue down a little bit. And I'm gonna knock that down real good. So we got both sides pretty good. So then I'm gonna hit on this blade. So you go like this, up and down, all the way down. It just helps sharpen it, the sharper the blade. And over time, using uh, a knife, it'll get sharp. Like this one I could probably shave with. No kid, it's razor sharp. As you use it on the knot on the wall, it sharpens itself. But this is a good way to, to get your knife broke in, where you can use it right out the door. So we'll do both sides like that. I'm not trying to get it razor sharp, I'm just trying to knock that square down and give you a nice sharp end. So as you can see, that blue's going away and I'm getting down to the silver where I'm getting kind of an edge. So now we've got both sides tarnished. We've got the blade where you can see silver. So you know you knock that square down and then the most important part, you got this little bitty sharp, sharp corner. So very slightly, I'll just take that. I'm not putting a lot of pressure. You don't want to get it too far, but you want to knock that point off because that point will dig into your wall and it'll dig into the mud as well. And when you feather it, so you put one side down, if you've got a point, it'll actually scratch the wall as it comes brand new. So I'll knock that corner down just a little bit, not a lot. As you use it progressively, it'll, it'll knock itself down, but you wanna get that point off. So now I've got just a little bit around there, not much. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. Same thing here, do both sides. Just knock that cor corner down. Like I said, not a lot of pressure, just enough to get that point off. 
and ultimately you'll be ready to go after that but one more trick I do which will help get that tarnish off is I'm going to put a little mud on it a little texture mud here it's a little loose but it'll do the trick so I'm going to just put a little bit of mud in this blade not much just enough to stain it just so you got a nice light film on there just like that it's barely any but just a little bit do that to both sides and then you can use any mud doesn't matter what kind of mud you use just as long as it's joint compound don't do hot mud so I got one little nice thin film of mud on that and then assuming you don't have to use it immediately I'm gonna let this dry overnight you let this dry overnight and then in the morning it'll be dry you scrape it off and that'll help remove that tarnish so we shit we we sanded everything both sides we knocked our corners down we sanded the top of the blade and then just put a real real light film of mud on there and then let that dry overnight so tomorrow morning i'm going to work this is my new knife i'm going to scrape this off and then so this is twofold so this is a blue steel so WD-40 will keep it from rusting. This is my current knife. You can see it's got a little rust on because I didn't WD-40 it yesterday. I did this morning and I scraped it. But if you spray a little WD-40 after you clean it, dry it, spray a little WD-40 on it, that'll keep it from rusting. And then that'll keep it ready for whenever you need to use it again. Let this dry overnight, scrape it off, and you're good to go with a brand new knife. Aims, in my opinion, best knife there is for finishing for 12s and 8s. Um, this is a, I think a wall board six love it stainless steel. It's all one piece so it can't rust Old school sixes were blue steel and it went into the handle and Eventually that handle would rust in there and your knife would break this guy will last forever These guys this is stainless steel aims. I hope you're listening I'm gonna get these made again But this currently in my opinion is the best knife there is and, but you just got to keep it from rusting. If you don't have WD-40 and you're using a knife, you can do this, put a little mud on it just like that. When you put it up, when it's dry enough, put it in your bag or whatever, and it won't rust. It'll keep it from rusting too. So there it is. Southern style, triple S drywall. Doing it in Katy. Please subscribe. Thank you guys for subscribing. Y'all need anything else, anything you want to do, please highlight in the comments. Triple S, Southern style.